me and you um, should uh, get together either on a Zoom meeting or I suggest that since we're now red level, we can now possibly go get a cup of coffee. All right. Before, well, we, we can do that, but anything I do, I would have to go through the committee. The committee yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, you know, this, this is just, I guess, to kind of um, uh, look at it and see what we can do and stuff like that. You know, it's just very preliminary. We're not taking a vote on it. Oh, we discussed it at government relations. That's right. And so Faye, uh, Faye suggested that the four of us um, get together. So I, that's why I sent the, uh, the email. Okay. Okay. I'm all excited that we have a red, red zone now. How's your daughter doing? Uh, she's fine. Yeah, is she, it's she's going to school and online. Yes. How's she handling that? Uh great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's it's now she's in person dance though. Oh yeah. Oh, she's got to be happy about that, huh? Uh yeah. 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 I know uh, my grandkids are saying, you know, they miss their friends. You know, they see them on on the online courses, but they um, they still miss having the contact with them. You know, the girls getting together and going, you know, stuff like that. Well, they do that on the phone nowadays. Oh, <laughs> they 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 do. She has her own Zoom meeting with her friends. Oh, does she? <laughs> How old is she? She's 12. Okay. She's a couple years ahead of Spirit. Spirit's 10. So she hasn't gotten into that yet. Well, she's had a phone since she was in uh, uh, first grade. Oh, really? Because uh, she's doing performances and wow. You know, sometimes she'd be away from her parents, and I always wanted her to have a phone. Got it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Understandable. So I think she's at 12 years old. I think she's on her third or fourth phone. <laughs> <laughs> Does she FaceTime with everybody? Uh, yeah, and, and, and Zoom and and Google Meet and other things that she can do that I probably can't even do. <laughs> yeah, they're very much ahead of us. Marie, this is what you have to look forward to. I know. <laughs> I know. I can hardly wait. Yeah. So the grandsons, you know, they're, uh, they're, they're typical little boys. So where are our our chairs? I don't know. They should be there. They you should come in early. Well, it's six fifty. There's Daniel. Dan Brin is usually right on uh, ahead of time. I'm surprised. Hey, Bob. Hi, Bob. How are you? Joanne. Yes, Bob. Hi. Have you heard anything about whether there's going to be rollover for excess funds at the end of this fiscal year? No, I haven't. 
Oh, I've darn. Been keep, I've been keeping an ear out for it. Okay. I think last year was a one time only. Yeah, but uh, this year has been the most of most of the year has been spent in quarantine, so to speak. So I will I I will contact my um, my friends down there and see if there's any uh, scuttlebutt about it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. They probably think that we should be spending all of our money on the elections. That's right. <laughs> yeah. No other cause. We have like you, me, Tony, and Marie. Hi, Marie. Howdy. Hi, Marie. Hello. <clears throat> I'm surprised nobody else is here yet. Only well, 13 people here. Oh, there are? Oh, I don't. No. Okay. We got a quorum <laughs> <clears throat> that we don't need. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. Two of your 13 aren't board members, unless they're under aliases. The attendees. I'm sure one of those isn't a name. Oh, yeah. Props, though. I like it. You, are you sure? I was going to name my next kid yet another bur burner phone. Somebody <laughs> took it. Like. <laughs> right. mm. Okay. <clears throat> wow. There's everybody. Hi, Sean. Hey. How you doing? Good, good. How about you? Not too bad. Good. It's getting used to it being sunny. It's still sunny like this time of day. Yeah, it's true. Good good walking weather. Hello. Yeah. Hey, hey Bonnie. You know, Steve, Steve put a camera. Steve put a camera on my big. Oh, I need to show off my other. Uh oh. Hang on. <laughs> I got too many computers on. You sound like, you sound like an MC from the uh, 1980s. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Shut off one. <laughs> Leave meeting. And here's the grooving sound. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Attendees, let's see who we have. Oh, we 15 are, of us, we're missing some people. Yeah, we're sure should be 15. Okay. okay, so you got it straightened out, Bonnie? No. Okay, now I do. I had to shut off my big computer because I don't quite know how to use it. Steve put a camera on it, which works fine. But I couldn't quite get it on Zoom. Nobody knew I was there. So I'm back on my desktop. <laughs> you sound fine now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will see if this works. Yeah, I think it will. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. Hello. Da Daniel, Dan. Yes, sir. Do you want to be host? You should. Sure. <laughs> Bonnie, I saw, Bonnie, I saw you when you were on the uh, uh, desktop. You did? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cuz I was talking and nobody could hear me. No, there was some kind of feedback. Did you have your laptop on as well? I hey, I huh? turned it on afterwards because I didn't yeah, seem to get through right well, on the Zoom. You were on uh, it was a perfect picture. Much clearer than this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah I have. Yeah. But nobody could hear me? I right, we could hear you. But it was some kind of reverberation or something. Oh, yeah. Well, I shut off the big computer, and I'm back on my desktop. 
Okay. We'll see I how long it, it works. <laughs> okay. I love your giraffe. You can you see it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I need to give it away. I bought that for my grandson when he was a baby, and yeah. I can't huh. can't quite part with it. They're pretty expensive to feed, you know. <laughs> well, I bought it at good. I bought it at Goodwill for fifteen dollars, and they were selling in the stores for over a hundred. Wow! Yeah. Okay. Well, can can we start? Yes, sir. Hi, everybody. How are you guys? Good, good. Oh, hello. Uh, in the background, and uh, I eat his background. Hello. Um, okay. So uh, let's let's start. The, uh, can we have the uh, agenda brought up, please? Can we are we being recorded tonight? No, we're not being recorded tonight. Uh, can we? Every meeting uh, should be recorded, Dan. We, we, no, we operations. Not, all no. the experts are talking. All we do not typically uh, record the operations meeting. That's uh, that's what I gathered from the people on uh, the uh, the board who participate. If people wanted to bring it the, to a committee to talk about having every meeting recorded as meetings all should be transparent to the public then which committee would that be best brought to dan or well, would that be a board that was, a, that was brought up to a board vote just recently actually just a matter of a few months ago and uh, it was just decided that the uh, board meetings would be recorded but uh, but the uh, uh you know it'd be up to the committees to uh, you know, if they, if they wanted to record those meetings. But if we wanted to bring it back to a committee, could we bring it as an agendized item? Because we've gotten a lot of public feedback that they like it recorded. Is that possible? Yeah. yeah okay. Sure. All right. Thank you. Sure. Dan, uh, I, I can't bring up the uh, agenda unless you make me co-host. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, let's see. How do I do that? See. There you are. So how do I do that? I go to make co-host. There you go. And you are made a co-host. Okay. Agenda. I think you wanted the operations agenda. Not the draft agenda. Oh. Cal. Give me a give me a second to find it. Waiting. I think I'd like to ask that the that the meeting be recorded this evening. There's been some bad actors lately, and it'd be nice to have a backup of it. Well, we're we're not doing that. So um, the um, the next uh, okay. So we uh, Tony, could you uh, bring on the uh, agenda, please? Yes. Work working on it. Do you see it? Yes. 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 We do. Okay. So this uh, meeting of the uh, operations um, committee, um, joint board and operations committee uh, is uh, called to order. And we'll start with public comment. And uh, let's see, we'll have, um, uh, boy, how do I get back to that? Um, let's see, participants. 
attendees, people in the general public, uh, would you would you like to speak? We'll have uh, we'll have two minutes each. What's all that squeaking noise? I don't know, uh, but uh, if you want to speak, Ray, please raise your hand. Okay, I don't see anybody raising their hand. So that's an interesting name. Yet another burner phone. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll go on to the meeting here. Um, update and meeting calendar and locations. Uh, well, <laughs> so obviously everything is on Zoom. Um, do, um, do uh, Michelle, uh, do we have any changes in meetings in the coming month? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. Other, no, everything happened this week. So no, we're good. Okay. Uh, committee agendas and procedures. Um, I, I do. We have any comments on that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I just telling uh, Michelle that we have two uh, CISs that are going to be on the meeting next meeting. I, I have the matter to the draft agenda already. So yeah, that's, that's, that's that's. That's, that's under uh, discussion of agendas for coming board. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. Uh, may I say something about changing of the meetings? Yes. I just wanted to uh, thank Michelle because we had to change the education committee meeting and the public health on a very short notice so we could get it to the uh, uh, budget committee. And Michelle, as always, you really helped me. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Anytime. I appreciate that. Thank no you. Problem. You're welcome. Okay. Um, ideas for certificate honorees. Well, um, just uh, just yesterday, was it already? Uh, yeah, it's just yesterday. Um, uh, Faye, Brad, and Heidi and I were present at uh, Orchid Ranch to present certificates of appreciation to six retiring members of the um, maintenance staff oh, oh, nice. at Orchid Ranch. It was a lovely, lovely um, event. Um, and uh, a representative, uh, Mirka from um, CD12, was, was there too to present certificates to uh, one of them was uh, a former board member, Mike Castro. Oh, was the he retired. Uh, that's right. He retired. Um, oh. He's the, he is the first, uh, the founding um, chair of our beautification committee. And uh, mm. so um, he's an Air Force veteran and, uh, and a great guy. So, um, and then also, also Robert Baker, uh, who's uh, you know, ran um, the district, as well as uh, uh, Vel, uh, who also uh, ran, ran the district with him. Oh. And, uh, and it was just, just a, a, a lovely morning. And um, so we'll, um, uh, Brad, we'll, I'll give you some pictures to to uh, to post. Okay, Dan, um, you have a hand. Yes, Aida. Aida. Yes, thank you, thank you, Tony, thank you, Dan. Captain Maureen is retiring, so I was thinking maybe we could give her a certificate. Oh, she is, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, I think April fourteen, if I'm not mistaken, is her last day. Okay, well, I, I'm game for that. Um, yeah, sure. She yeah. Uh, she founded. Uh, she started. Um, Panda uh, Station, and um, and she was, um, you know, a good commander there, and has, uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, uh, maybe we can do that at our next board meeting. If not, and then we'll just go there and present it to her. All right. Okay. Um, any other suggestions? Well, we still haven't delivered our certificates to um, to Joellen yeah. and. Um, and the Maiden. community, yes. So, uh, Aida, I hope you'll be able to set that up soon. Yes, sir, I will. Okay. Um, any other uh, recommendations for certificates of appreciation? No? Okay. Um, discussion for, of agendas for coming board meetings. Um, so, uh, let's, let's share what we have so far. Um, to share Michelle, what Michelle has. A lot of those budget items have not gone to budget yet, so it's just a very rough draft. Okay. And some and some items are still missing off of it, obviously. Yeah. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I 
sent it to Carolyn uh, this afternoon, and uh, I will send you the final version of it tomorrow. Okay. Um, unless there are some surprises, uh, we have about 17 items to vote on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Fortunately, there's no meeting after the budget meeting. Oh, so you're talking about the budget meeting? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Um, so, can we see the... Yeah. The other end right now. <laughs> the, screen, the, the screen is so small, I can't tell the difference between the two. They do look alike, too. They have that same logo. You got to get you a pair of readers, honey. <laughs> no. No, let me... Uh... Oh, I had I had it up. I think I closed it. So let me open it. <clears throat> Somebody have a running faucet or something? Yeah, I can hear you too. I think that's my fish tank. <laughs> okay. Really? Bobby's fish tank. Um, <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll oh, mute myself and oh, get that out. You adopted her. Um, yes. You, uh, her fish. Oh, how yes. sweet. Oh. <laughs> One second here. Agenda. There we go. Uh, the board meet. All righty. Tony, this is the board meeting. That's right. That's what we yeah, want. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks like uh, Tom Sung is going to be our um, um, our, our done rep. Wow! Uh, right, that's he's, right. He's a he's a good guy. He was, uh, as a matter of fact, he he just called me just as this meeting has started. So we'll be talking again afterwards, after the meeting. Um, so uh, yeah, so maybe we ought to replace uh, at Siri Camarena, whom we never heard from. I'll make uh, the I'll make the adjustment. Tom Sung, yeah. Okay, let's scroll down. Uh, uh, Dan? Yes, sir. Uh, Safe. Uh, so I might not be available on April 1. Uh, I'm at a place where there's no internet. So. Ooh. Outside of Grand Canyon. So I might not be able to attend. I'll see if I can go somewhere to get internet, but. Well, I hope you can. It's uh, wow, off the grid, huh? It's even, I didn't even know there were such places anymore. Uh, they, they advertise it, no internet. Want me to ship you my uh, satellite phone? It has data. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's, let's go. Let's take a look here. Old business. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Fair free transit, okay. Um, discussion possible action on continuing engagement pro process while the sidewalk and transit amenities program staff request for proposal process is underway. Um, we have encouraging the city of LA to ask the county of Los Angeles to eliminate sale and use of fireworks throughout the county. Oh. Uh, um, I, I have to add, to remove Tom and them. It's not them. That's Bob and Safe. Uh, it's government relations. Oh, is it the one? Item sixteen is not you and Bob. Me yeah. and Bob. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's what I was going to say. Dan. Dan. Yes, sir. Could you ask Tony to enlarge that image? It's almost impossible for us to read it. Oh. Why don't you ask me, Steve? <laughs> well, okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah. That oh, worked. Thank you. I, I also removed items 20 and 21 at Tom's request. Okay. Very good. 
Okay, uh, cleaning and rapid engagement services for unhoused persons, alternative voluntary service-based protocols. Okay, um, and uh, report on the status of Prop HHH funding. Okay, let's see, take a look at new business. New business is, is very rough. Uh, a lot of people sent me their budget requests, even though the budget committee is not meeting until next week. Okay. So the wording may be off. Okay. okay. Very good. Oh, starting with the NPGs for the um, for the schools. Okay. Okay. Let's keep keep scrolling. It's, it's very rough wording, so we can still adjust. Okay. All right. Oh, the education, Youth and Education Committee has been doing its work, as usual. Okay, um, NPG for, S, yeah, this will all go through the uh, Budget Committee, right? Yes. Um, termination of the Los Angeles Community Corps Program. Extend the termination date to December 2021 in order to use any remaining unspent balance in the funds set aside for that program and to authorize the economic and workforce development to prepare. Okay, next. Okay, I'm trying to understand this. <clears throat> okay, and 31. Okay, all right. Um, all right, so uh, are there any, uh, Bob? Yeah. I would strongly recommend that we consider having the meeting start early. There are going to be at least 15 individual budget items to vote on. All right, so uh, any objection to that? We've done it before, we've met at 6.30, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I think it's, it's gonna be important that we try, we're here to do the business. Uh, for the people and and get these uh, and get this work done. So, um, I, I, gosh, I hope we don't get too distracted and and other things. So, um, so anyway, um, so sorry, thank you. Are we going to start at six thirty then? Yeah, well, let's start at six thirty. Uh, Sandy Bell and then Shar Rostein. I was just going to say on 31, it, it's not only the Councilman John Lee, it's, I don't know if we need to put it in, it's also the Supervisor Sheila Cool. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not allowed to send letters <laughs> to <laughs> Sheila Kuhl, but, but her representative will be there. Oh, we can't? Oh, well, we're that's debatable. Yeah. yeah Sandy, I, you can, Sandy can ask Steve to send it. <laughs> Once it's approved, that's true. I can. I can ask him to send it as a private citizen. Yeah. I will we, do that. No, no, don't, don't. <laughs> we can, we can send it to John Lee and ask him to forward it. Yeah, yeah. we could. Yeah, we can do that too. Either Good way. idea. Okay, uh, Char Rothstein and then Brad Vanderhoek. Yeah, I had a question for Bob. Bob, yeah. do do we have to um, also agendize the? Uh, budget requests for elections to change. Remember, we added that hundred dollars. Yes, so, we do. Okay, so that needs to be on there too, right? Yes. Okay, yes. It, it, it's on. It's on our agenda, and I'm going to send that to Michelle tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. I'm done. All right, and uh, Brad, and then Joanne. Yeah, a question for Bob. Do you think with all of these budget requests? that there's a group of them that will be passed with no debate. Uh, the reason I ask is if we have a whole group, we can put them on a consent calendar and vote once. That's a good idea. There are some for sure. 
we should talk about that at budget. Sounds good. Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Joanne. I, I'm surprised that the paramedics, firefighters, and police officers haven't been vaccinated already. Okay. I mean, they're really essential. I thought they were. <laughs> yeah. The problem is that they've been offered vaccine and a huge percent of them are turning it down. Somewhere around 40% of LAFC. <laughs> oh, oh, here we have, we have uh, Rian uh, Reynas. Let's, uh, let's hear what you have to say, Rian. Oh, no, I just wanted to say to Brad's point, um, even if you do put on the consent calendar, it doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, that if someone wanted to, let's say, have a discussion, they can just request it to be pulled. So it wouldn't necessarily, so even if it may or may not be a controversial item, I, I would just, if we want to go down that route, you just put on a consent calendar. In that case, if there's a specific item, you just pull it for discussion. The rest can be voted as a block. So I think it's just a good, that's all. Okay. Uh, I, I'd like to ask Brad a question. Brad? Yes. Can you send me the the wording for a consent calendar and how it works? It's oh. just one agenda item, and then you have a bulleted list. Oh, do you, do you, the agenda item is called consent calendar? It can be. Okay. And then you just underneath that, a bullet list of everything that's uh, yeah, you just list on. all the items. Okay, thank you. Oh, to Rian's point, yes. Unless you know something is going to require debate, then there's it should be its own item. So you don't have to bother to pull it. Okay, thank you. All right, and the board votes on all of these resolutions at once. Uh, okay. Um, I guess that's that's it. And um, let's go back to the meeting calendar, please. Uh, to the um, the operations committee calendar. I mean agenda. <clears throat> Are we there? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Vincent, projects in the community. Uh, do we have any uh, projects in the community? I see that we do have the uh, teachers uh, and um, school staff. Um, well, well, we do have the, the community um, grants. Those, those are on. Um, do we have any other projects coming soon that we need to know about? Beautification is going to be doing an event, a cleanup. Um, at, at the end of April, right? No, it probably be in, it's going to be in May, I believe. Okay. Brad would, or Faye would know, but. Well, the, well that's right. You're send, sending in a, uh, an event approval form. Yeah, because yeah. they now for cleanups, they have to do that. Okay. A, a new thing we discussed covered a while back. What about special events? Yeah, special events, the bingo too. Faye has her hand up, by the way. Oh, I, I didn't see that, so I apologize. I uh, oh, yeah, two, raise their hands, okay. Uh, Char first and then Faye. I think Faye might have had her hand up first. Okay, Faye. Thank you. On Tuesday at the beautification meeting, we decided that because there is, apparently Rianne has indicated to us, there's no absolute rule that we cannot have cleanups. We decided we might give it a shot. What's the worst possible? The city says no. So I prepared an events approval and I prepared a budget request and those are in the proper line of order now, and we'll see what happens for the date of April 24th. Ah. Okay, thank you, Faye. 
You're welcome. Uh, Dr. Barda, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> uh, Charlene Rothstein. Okay, guys, so formal. Okay, I just want to remind everybody that we have the candidate forums uh, on Monday, March 29th at 7 p.m. and Tuesday, March 30th at 7 p.m. The logins are now posted and we'll have even better graphics tomorrow, if not by tonight. <laughs> and I know I did see them, something on next door today as well. So um, obviously I'm hoping the entire board will be there as attendees and to everyone, uh, you know, listening or, or running for election or reelection, please, um, you know, get all your family and friends to come. Should be a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and, there you go. And, and Seth Park will be the facilitator. Oh, nice. Yes, yeah, nice. Work. She's working for uh, uh, Bob Blumenfield now. And refreshments right. are being served, yes? Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Re -re refreshments <laughs> in your own kitchen. <laughs> Next <laughs> time. So, um, yeah, I, I received just this morning a, um, a QR code that anybody could use for their uh, you know, any campaign literature, any individuals, any slates, and we'll be using them in our neighborhood council. Um, uh, literature as well, um, uh, linking, um, you scan it with your, uh, your smartphone and camera. All you have to do is just turn on your camera and, and look at and point it at it and it'll direct you to um, automatically to a website where you can register um, to get a ballot. All and right, yeah, I we, that part out. You just, just <laughs> got per permission this morning to be able to use it. So, um, so it, anybody who wants it, yeah, we'll, um, yeah, please. So I'll ask Michelle to uh, send it out to uh, to the entire board. All right. That was on the graphic too, wasn't it? Yes, I put it on the, the graphic. In the graphic. Okay, perfect. Yeah, perfect. And, and there's, there's also an abbreviated link that you could um, you could use to also to um, get um, people to register to get their ballots. Uh, okay. Um, so um, okay, Daniel Ostreicher. Yeah, just really quick. Who will be moderating the candidate forum? Semi Park. Okay. So if it gets out of hand, she can like disqualify people right there, give them a red card. It, it will, Daniel, <laughs> trust me, it will not get out of hand. Okay, cool. Okay. She knows how to run things. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Joanne. Um, would you repeat those dates again? And uh, is yes. it going to be one? Part of the candidates on one day and part on the other day. Yes. Yeah. Didn't you get a an invitation? No. Well, you will. Okay, that doesn't make sense, but uh, we'll resend it. Okay. Um, half of the candidates are on Monday, March 29th at 7, okay. and the other half is on Tuesday, March 30th at 7 p.m. Okay. Um, it, anybody who's... Um, running if they did not get an invitation please email me because e i email. use the emails from the city so yeah email me yeah email um, uh tony and us. i yes. right then you have two chances <laughs> then, 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 then you have two chances of failure right <laughs> so, exactly so uh, michelle uh, i'm going to um forward the uh, email that i got from nathan singh uh, and if you could, uh, you know, uh, forward on the uh, the QR code to the. Okay. And if you could look at your text message that I sent you, please. Oh. And and Dan, do you have a uh, 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 a graphic that not not the QR code, another graphic that you've created? I just created one this evening, uh, just before this meeting. And um, and uh, it's it's still uh, going. Uh, uh, I've been consulting with Shar and Brad uh, about uh, its content, and um, so um, I think we've got it nailed down. Uh, this will be uh, a notice for public uh, for social media and for our website, um, giving providing information on the candidate forums. Well, you need to you need to get it to me so I can post on Twitter as well. I can do that. As soon as this, uh, as, 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 soon Brad, as, you. as soon as Brad likes it. <laughs> okay, uh, Steve. It's Joan, I think. 
Oh, okay. Uh, well, well I, um, okay, Joan? I'd like to know uh, on that uh, invitation, when was it sent? Because I have 6,000 emails. So what um, date am I looking for about? You know, I'd have to look at my sent box, but I'll re you know what? I'll just resend it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay. Now, um, and we have safe. Yeah, quick question for Tony. I mean, I know he sends one hour before and one week before. Is he going to do that again for the... Yes, it, it's been set up to send uh, one week, uh, one day, and one hour before the meeting. Great job, Tony. Okay. Um, okay, so I'll take your hand down. Uh, anyone, that, anyone that didn't get a, uh, a panelist invite, we re really need to know. Uh, I yes. used the emails from yes. Char, which he used emails from the city. So check, uh, check your, uh, your emails that you submitted uh, registered with the city. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Because... Uh, uh, we had a uh, issue with Brad's email, uh, mm -hmm. and they're they're you know it that might not have been a one off. So let's let's uh, if if you didn't get an invite, let me know. Mm -hmm. We'll fix it. Right. Um, I I I got a text from uh, Michelle uh, going back to the previous item uh, about the agenda. Um, uh, I believe that Char has requested a, um, a reconsideration of, of an item that, uh, that we voted on last month. Um, uh, it was uh, re re regarding the... Um, um, Sherman the, Place. Sherman Place. Yeah. Uh, so, um, so we have a request there to put that back on the agenda. Mm -hmm. uh, did, did, did Char uh, vote? Uh, did you vote for oh, it or against yeah. it? Um, I voted against it. Okay. Well, that's right. It, it it needs to be. If I recall correctly, I don't. Not, I'm not sure if it's required for the, you know, a separate meeting. But uh, yeah, I do believe in the past it's been the procedure has been a person who voted against it um, would would need to request it. That's that's correct. If it passed. If it yeah if, okay if it, if it passed. Okay, yeah. it, it passed. I listened to the uh, recording to pick up exactly what the numbers were. It was uh, eight uh, to 10, passing with 10. Um, however, I got, uh, and then Brad, you can speak to that too. And then I did get um, some feedback from a couple of members stating that they were confused on the vote. And then seeing the... Um, backlash from the community, you know, stating, I got calls from maybe five stakeholders saying, hey, um, you know, and looking at next door that they felt they hadn't uh, had any input. So I've never in my, you know, length of time on the board, I've never requ requested a reconsideration, but this I felt, um, you know, really did require it. Brad? I missed her. If Char voted against it, she can only re reconsider if it failed. Right, right. So we, oh, we, okay. we, okay. need to, we need to have a request from somebody who voted uh, for it. For it, okay. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, uh, next we have Merle. I'd like to suggest that... Uh, someone from the election committee notify the folks who are running that are not incumbents on the board to verbally tell them about the forum and the night of which they are scheduled. Just a suggestion. Okay. We have groups that we have people there that, uh, as you all know, that are, are new. It'd be nice for someone to call them and tell them that the the forum is scheduled for this night or that night. That's all. Yeah. If if we okay. have the telephone numbers. Yeah. Sure, sure. You did uh, send emails to all the candidates and inform them of their night, didn't you? Oh yeah, of course. I, yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, actually, I got a lot of replies that you know they would be there. So the response was really good. 
Um, I'll resend though. It doesn't hurt to, you know, send it a second time. And and ask them that they get the link. Okay. And, okay. and let, let's confirm that everyone has a panelist link. That, okay, that's, that's good. good. Mm-hmm. Okay, confirm that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'll do that, Tony. You know what? I'll I'll copy you on that so when they reply. Sure. Thank you. Okay, Aida. We will all get the uh, information to Zoom for this uh, for the panels for the two nights. It's, yeah, it, it's actually on our website now, and okay. there it's going to be coming a, again. Dan and Brad and uh, Tony are working on some some other graphics, and it's on next door as well. And thank you, Shar. And then also on that vote, uh, you were saying that some people that th- said they voted yes, they didn't understand what they were voting for. So Dan, right. maybe we should ask the people that voted yes and did not understand what they were voting for to talk about it now. Well, I, I, um, uh, uh, well, if are there anybody? Uh, is there anybody here who um, voted yes and is uh, now opposed? I don't even remember the motion. The motion was to uh, <laughs> put put the um, put the site on a list. Uh, for uh, uh, Council District 12 to consider as possibilities for uh, consideration as sites for um, a homeless relief. Yeah, Joanne has her hand up. My understanding, Joanne can correct me if I'm wrong, was that she voted for it but was confused. Uh, well, it's it's, 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 it's it's Tom Booth's turn, so we're going to go go in order. You're next, Steve. And and uh, and then Joanne, and then um, and then we can continue that. Thank you, Dan. Uh, okay, uh, Tom. Okay, you t- you took your hand down. Okay, uh, Steve. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I was trying to unmute, so I took my oh, hand down instead. Sure. So my my mistake. So sure. thank you, Dan. Uh, so yeah, my suggestion is um, if we could uh, have the election committee meetings uh, made public and agendized. Uh, I am concerned about um, the recent, you know, meetings being interrupted with political talk about campaigns uh, by by the election chair. And so I'm very concerned about that process and would like to make sure our election committees uh, from now on would be agendized and made public. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, That's um, uh, okay, uh, Steve. Yeah, what I was saying was going back to the reconsideration issue. Um, my understanding was that Joanne, and Joanne can correct me if I'm wrong, Joanne was somebody who voted yes. Um, it was pretty apparent to me that it looked like she was confused because it kept going back and forth. And Joanne can correct me uh, if I'm wrong, but if uh, she says that she wants a reconsideration. Yes. And- well, then, then, then let's go to Joanne. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, um, uh, Joanne? I, I, was, I was confused, and I think I was the first one to vote on it, and I wasn't sure, and I felt sort of pressured to come up with one because I'm used to being the last one and <laughs> get a, a lot more time to think about things. Okay. Um, okay, if, if there is anybody else uh, one, uh, present who feels that, uh, had the same experience, uh, you're free to say so, but I, uh, but you know, that's, um, you know, if um, I, I'm inclined to favor it, then if we have somebody uh, who says who would like a reconsideration, um, uh, Aida. Oh, I'm sorry, I was going to lower my hand. I apologize. Okay, Tom. Yeah, I'm not in favor of a reconsideration. I mean, this is only happening because it's the topic, and we've talked about this for five years now, that it's because it's homelessness, and people have like this extreme uh, bias and uh, stigma about homelessness. We're just, we, all we did was we we were, we were did what uh, the council district member, uh, John Lee, has asked us to do, and also his predecessor, Englander, had asked us to put properties on a list. In fact, Englander was in our meeting and was calling us all NIMBYs. Well, okay. So, so yeah, let me just finish. Let me finish my point, please. So my point is, is that why would we all of a sudden, after all these years I've been on the board, why are we now all of a sudden going to recon- re- re- reconsider? And then there was also another party involved, I know specifically, that was hand-billing all the homes around there 
uh, that was saying that we were going to put a shelter there. And I think they were intentionally trying to incite, uh, a, a, you know, a response by misrepresenting what we were doing. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm completely opposed to a reconsideration. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 we're, we're treading a very narrow line here of uh, discussing the merits as opposed to whether or not we should have, you know, it, it, is it possible to discuss having a reconsideration without discussing the merits of the proposal? And we can't do that. We can't discuss the merits of the issue. Um, right. uh, because, you know, it, you know, Brown Act, right? So, um, uh, so uh, it's, it's a delicate situation. Uh, Daniel. Uh, yeah, can um, Brad, who has the record, post the record so we can see how everyone voted? And then two, if a reconsideration is ever going to happen, I would suggest that it be um, at the June meeting, just given what Bob has said about the length of this next meeting and the May meeting is going to be long as well. Um, so, yeah. Okay, that's, that, that's something worth considering. I'll, I'll discuss it with Shar after the meeting. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and that was you, Daniel, right? Okay, uh, Marie. Um, I'm okay with a motion to reconsider on one condition. Um, what happened was that um, the public was misinformed about the nature of the proposal after what happened. On top of that, the item ended up being extremely politicized by the actions of Steve at the Homeless Committee. And now it's become an election thing. It's become a vote turner thing. So let's hold the motion to reconsider until after the election. At which point I'm happy to do because I at the time felt like we didn't have enough stakeholder input. Well, that sounds like a, you know, sounds like a good idea to me. Um, uh, Joanne. Yes, I will. I would reconsider it doing uh, forwarding it to June. That would be fine with me. Uh, but my action is not political. It was just based on confusion. So I don't want anybody saying that. No, Joanne, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to at all. I'm really No, sorry. I'm not talking to you, Marie. I think you are not the actor in question here. For me? I don't no. think you're the actor in question here. I don't no, question your motives at all, Joanne. I, 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 think we're, um, I, I, th I think we're pretty much uh, in agreement that we could reconsider this um, in, in June. Dan? Yes, sir. Make a point of order. Yes, sir. You, you can't reconsider in June. You have one meeting to do it. That's the window. Oh. oh. You either do it next meeting or you don't. Okay, I'll talk with Shar. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, the uh, Steve Randall and, and or don't. It's Joan. Don't hunt Dave. On this issue of homelessness, uh, there are some people who have a tremendous passion to put homelessness in the community more than others. We have to have different points of view, but we're supposed to represent our community, not our own personal um, passion, I like to say. We had a representation from the community when they found out about this secret thing coming up that uh, showed us that they were quite horrified. There were some problems in the community, not only yeah. with this new yeah. thought. Joanne, Joanne, Joanne. No, <laughs> please, I, I think we're, we're trying to get in, in, in dangerous yeah, ground here. No, I'm trying, no, I'm trying to rose, lower my hand. What? I didn't say anything. Okay. You're uh, talking uh, Joan. Joan, uh, okay. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, Joan, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so um, Sandy Bell. I I agree with Tom. I think that, that it's just a list of things, and people in my neighborhood would actually never have any political involvement come up and ask me about it, and they have so much misinformation. It, it's just awful. I, I think it's it's better to just leave it the way it is and not re-vote on it. Um, okay. Um, I have to take a look at procedures to see if... Uh, um, you know, you know, if you know, Olivia's I, hand is up, Olivia. 
Thank you so much, Carolyn. Thank you, Dan. Um, I just would like to say, you know, a couple of things that just to set the record uh, on there. So one, it was brought up to say that, you know, the passion to put homelessness in our community. Um, homelessness is already in our community. It's not a matter of putting in, it's, it's working with CD12 who has asked for these things and we have partnered with them. We've provided what they did ask for, which is several- of order, we're talking several, about the threats again. Okay, order, please. several locations, thank you. Also, it was said, yeah, and I would like it. you're letting oh, it go. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I, 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 it, it, I mean, the, Let's not the, talk the about point the is that we, we really should discuss the merits. Second, so I'm going on for the merits, but second, I just would like it amended if it's going to go into the minutes that it was said that the secret agenda, there is no secret. So it is transparent and it's been agendized for, you know, two months and the public was invited. So I would like that amended in the minutes, you know, as well. I would agree with, uh, you know, what Sandy has said. I think that it is better to just, you know, let it go on. The board voted, it was presented. There was public comment put in, the board put on, I would say, and then we move on. And then the CD 12 wants to bring it, which they will or they will not, as has been mentioned, then that's up to them. Thank you. Hey, Dan, can I speak when, uh, put me in the queue? Uh, sure, sure. Um, My hand is up. Uh, okay, I see. Uh, Joanne, did you already speak? She can't put her hand down. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll lower Joanne's hand. Uh, and, and Steve? I think that's I raised to raise my hand. I lowered it a long time ago. Oh, okay, all right. Um, as, 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 as Steve, do you have it? Uh, Steve, yeah. I believe you've already commented. No, that no, I just want to get this back on target, folks. We're talking about a, a, a matter of, uh, of, of policy. My understanding is regarding reconsideration. In this particular case, you have somebody who voted who is now saying that they were confused. That person's vote could change whether this passes or not. And because of that, it's extremely important that a reconsideration is, is done. Uh, there, the vote was 10 to eight. And if one of the 10 people who voted um, for it decides that they wanna get vote against it because of confusion, the vote would then be nine to nine and the measure would not have passed. Mm -hmm. So because of that, it definitely needs to go to reconsideration. I'm not talking about the merits or anything. It just, it has to go to reconsideration. I did study it, Dan, and that's what needs to be done. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Daniel. Yeah, again, if if we are gonna do this, I would just say this needs to be at the very last thing on the agenda then, because we have so much old business and new business to take care of. Mm. Well, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, that's a good uh, way to handle it. Okay. Yeah. Dan? Yes, sir. May I now? Yes, sir. Uh, just to let everyone know, uh, uh, John Lee has taken this off, off the table, uh, because of, uh, public, public comment. So, uh, at, at, at this point, it, it, I don't think it makes a difference whether it, it, uh, passes or fails or, or reconsideration. I, th I think the consideration we should use is the time of this board at our meeting and uh, it's, it's a it's kind of a moot point. Uh, John Lee has has taken it off the table. So why vote on it again? Yeah. Oh, well, because because it was asked for. Yeah, and there's one it. other one yeah. other thing I'd like to clarify with uh, Ida that uh, the the candidate forms uh, all board members except those uh, candidates will be attendees, so no one will get a link, uh, a PANAS link like we do for most of the meetings. You, you join those, those, uh, those forms through an attend, attendee link, and uh, it's being decided, but I've suggested that, that uh, we actually have a question and answer, so you, you actually submit your questions in, in a text, and Simi will, will uh, read them and, and to the appropriate candidate they're directed to or all candidates. And it, it will, I think it will go smoother that way. Uh, I, I, I understand that that's uh, what, when it happened, right, Charlene? Yes. Sorry. Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> I haven't been called that in years. <laughs> okay. okay. I, don't, I just read your name and I just, it just came out. I sound okay. like I'm in trouble. Okay. okay. Last yeah. comment, Steve, and then we'll move on. Yeah, I just want to say and answer to, to Anthony, this is not a moot point. Uh, the reason that it's important is that there's an election coming up. Stakeholders have the right to know how people are voting on various issues. And because of that, it's important that the vote be taken, a vote be taken where people understand what they're voting for. Okay, so it is important. It's not moot. Um, this is part of a public record, and it really needs to be set straight. If there was a mistake made, it needs to be corrected. And putting it at the end of agenda, uh, as was recommended by Daniel Ostreicher, yeah, I think is a pretty obvious attempt. To I mean, whoa, it whoa, doesn't come wait, up. Let's, oh. let's, 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 let's not get into attacks, please. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, geez. Uh, Marie and Giordani, and then the, 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 uh, and then uh, Joanne, and then we're definitely moving on to the next item. Okay. Everybody understand that? Okay. So, uh, okay, Marie. I think Steve has once again made it very obvious that he has an agenda in this election and he should not be a co-chair of the elections committee, or at the very least, those committee meetings need to be public and agendized. Okay. Um, uh, Joanne, ridiculous. Hey, I could please, please, I, I, I am ending it after and this. Discussion. I guess that personal attack was okay, Dan. Thank you. It was not. Okay. okay. My, my point is, is because this was a previous issue, doesn't this fall under old business? So would it have to go um, He's right. to um, the end of old business? It would be new business. Why? Right. How would it be new business? If because it's a, it's a new vote under reconsideration. It would be new business. It's old business, though. No, it's not. Okay. No, it's new right. business. Brad. That was okay, just my point of clarification. Okay, we're 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 moving on. Okay. Um, what are we going to do with this issue? Um, I'm I'm inclined uh, since somebody requested that it would be um, reconsidered. I'm inclined to uh, to grant that request. However, I want to cons consult with Charlene and and possibly uh, Tom, Tom Sung. Uh, Shar, Shar, <laughs> and before uh, <laughs> uh, uh, final discussion. Um, so, um, okay. So, uh, general discussion of the West Hills Neighborhood Council. Uh, you know, this. Um, uh, yeah, I'm I'm just doing the best I can, um, and I'm trying to be fair. Um, I, I'm consulting with. Um, with with uh, Tom Sung, I have consulted with Semi and uh, and 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 the city attorney, and uh, and uh, you know I'll, I'll I'll do whatever you know is is required uh, or not required, <laughs> um, uh, but uh, but you know I, I just I I just feel so bad about about um, uh, slates and and. Um, I, w I wish um, these things didn't exist. Um, I want, uh, I'm personally, I'll, I'll be voting my own conscience and, um, and uh, regardless of slate. Um, so anyway, um, uh, so, so let's, let's have um, your discussion because I know people will have things to say. So uh, Tom. Yeah, I'm just would like to get an answer on the uh, public uh, agendized a meeting for election committee. And then also there's been some concerns about um, partiality uh, from, from one of the co-chairs. So we'd like to have that resolved if we can. And, uh, and we be we better, to be, better to be soon than sooner than later. Okay. Considering, uh, considering we are in the middle of an election. Yeah. Ashar, uh, do you have any uh, comment on that? Yeah. I mean, uh, Tom is on the election committee, um, and I think you only missed one meeting. So, um, you know, you're apprised of everything, of all of the discussions. Um, and, I mean, there's nothing, What whoever you're referring to, that has nothing to do with the election committee. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So, so, uh, so uh, 
Yeah, am I being muted now? Uh, no, no, no. Go ahead, okay. go ahead, Tom. Yeah, so I mean, we, it just seems like common sense. So if we have an election and uh, we have a, one of the co-chairs of the election committee who's advocating for everybody but a particular group of people that are running in every single meeting that we have, uh, except for this one so far, maybe he did a little bit today, uh, how is that appropriate that he can keep his position as, as election co-chair? Isn't that completely showing Tom, like a level of bias and partiality? Okay, but Tom, don't, doesn't every person on our board have a bias? I mean, I'm sure we all have a no. bias to... Who, come if, on. You can, if you can't see how inappropriate that is, I'm really shocked, Char. I really am. I know you and Dan have been defending Steve's behavior for this for many, many years now. But if you can't see how that's inappropriate as the, as the election co-chair to publicly blast the slate of people that are running uh, in the homelessness committee and add to a bunch of misinformation to the public. If you okay. can't see how, how inappropriate that is. Okay, if you're talking about the homelessness committee, which Dan and I were not at, then um, here's the thing. In our bylaws, if somebody has a, a complaint about another board member, mm. it was to go to Dan and I. And then if that could not be resolved, then it was sent to the city or we invite, we actually have in the past had city, uh, you know, people from Dunn come in and meet with uh, everybody to try to resolve an issue. A last resort was to send it to the city attorney. That is in our bylaws. Now, if if people want to change the bylaws, that's a whole different issue, and they can go to bylaws. Yeah, um, it's, uh, uh, Marie uh, uh, you'll, will be speaking next. Um, and Marie today um, uh, uh, has, well, let, it, I'll let, let, let Marie <laughs> say. So, Marie? I'm not sure what Dan was ready to share. I'm, but... I'm referring to your emails from today. Sure. Um, what I was going to say is that uh, it is pretty clear that Steve is willing to use neighborhood council time to affect the election, to influence it. So we should at least be able to watch him do it. We should at least let stakeholders watch him do it. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to share about? Um... Uh, yes, I'd like those meetings to be public. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, uh, Joanne? Okay. I have my hand up, Dan. Uh, Merle, you're, you're next. I'm sorry. Um, is the election committee a standing committee? No, it's, a, it's an ad hoc committee by literal definition. It's, it's a, it has a tempor temporary purpose and will um, disband after the election. Okay. So, so if that's the case, and I'm only going on previous situations, when there's been an ad hoc committee, and I know that because I was chair of an ad hoc committee once upon a time, that uh, they were never public. You know, I mean, they were never uh, they were never agendized or anything of that nature. So I, I, I understand what Tom is Tom is requesting, but there isn't a. a a situation where it's been done before. That's all I'm pointing out at this point in time. And uh, if, if I may interject, the, the, the idea is is that that uh, these small uh, committees of uh, you know, six or fewer uh, would be nimble and be able to uh, you know meet whenever a question comes up, and um, and and. Uh, and and uh, an emergency comes up or anything like that without having to be brown acted, uh, and that's you know that's you know, part of the law, the brown uh, brown act law. Uh, and, that, and it's uh, also not cool yeah. to yeah. So uh, what's okay. going on here? That's all. Okay, uh, Joanne. Yes, I just wanted to say I find it ironic that uh, a member of the election committee is complaining about the other election committee member. Uh, when Tom has his own slate and he's pushing his own agenda to everybody with his slate, with his website, etc. And now he's complaining about the other people who are on a slate. I find that very, very confusing. Uh, okay. 
Um, I, I would like uh, Tom to uh, respond to that. Yeah, first of all, I'm actually running for, for office and I have not brought any electioneering into the committees themselves during live committees. And so that's a big distinction right there. Second, I'm, I'm actually running as a candidate and it's not my slate. It's a group of people together that are loosely, loosely organized to, to try to make a difference so we can end all this silliness. Uh, and then we have uh, uh, Steve. He's not even running, and he's 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 going around town trying to get everybody on a slate. So so the big difference between what I'm doing, which is just happen to be called once in a while to go to election committee or emailed occasionally when, the, and also that has been scheduled one days where I've already said that I couldn't make those days. So I've missed more than more than one. I may have even missed the last election committee a day. And then the other the other thing is is that. Um, uh, it just seems completely uh, inappropriate for you to even to say that, Joanne, that I'm not electioneering during during committee meetings and somebody else is who's not even on a slate. What's their agenda? Okay. Well, we're not electioneering. Let's let's uh, 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 Joanne. Um, Could I make one more statement, yeah, please? Sure. Can, I make, okay. can I make one more statement, uh, sure, Dan, sure. please? Yeah, sure. I'm just looking on the website right now and the and the Cultural Community Senior Center is called the Cultural Community Senior Center Ad Hoc Committee. So is ad hoc is that committee not agendized in public every single month for the last five years that I've been on this board? Yeah, some, some, some committees uh, do, um, it, um, you know, they have more than, uh, ad hoc committees have more than six members. Yes, so, so, so the Merle's point, so the Merle's point is that he's wrong about his assessment. Well, okay. Uh, it's it's just it's just that that they choose. Actually, 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 um, uh, well, it does. That the committee doesn't exist anymore. Um, but um, the idea was is that it was their interest or their intent not to schedule quick on the fly meetings, and so and and so there were um, and they, they wanted more. They chose to have more than six members on that committee. Um, <laughs> So, we wanted input from the community, and they were, and there was. So okay, so we'll go to Steve. Okay, so um, yeah, there's been some reference made to something that I did um, speaking during the public comment period on Monday. Uh, why are you shaking your head, Tom? Um, anyway, so basically, I made a mistake because you made you made many. Um, comments. I think I'm talking. Please don't. You, you asked me. Okay, you asked me. Not, let's not address each other, please. You, okay. you bring up my name, and I'm going to respond, Steve. Okay. Right. And so, so the point is, is that you made several comments throughout the entire meeting, not just public comment. And your cat, as far as I've been told, that board members shouldn't be making public comments during of uh, during that time. I, I, I haven't I haven't seen the recording yet, but I'm going to be allowed to speak now. Yes, please, by all means. I'm Steve. trying to make an apology. I don't need people shaking their head no and making all kinds of comments and things like that, which is the reason why I mentioned somebody's name who's shaking their head no again. Um, I am not a member of that committee, and I I made a I did say something at the public comment period. Um, and I failed to, to state that I was making the comment as a stakeholder. I thought it was pretty obvious since I'm not a member of that committee and I was speaking during public comment. So I do apologize for that. It was a mistake. I am almost 75 years old. I make some mistakes. When you guys, <laughs> when you get, thank you, Marie. I, I appreciate funny, it. Mary. I think That's not I funny. appreciate that. that one a lot. So when you get to my age, some of you might understand. The other thing is, is that I also made another mistake wherein I referred, I guess Dan doesn't want to hear what's going on, uh, wherein I um, stated that four people at that committee were four people who had voted a certain way on the issue that we were discussing. And in fact, my error was in saying that Marie voted um, the same way as the other three people, which I was later informed that that was a mistake and that she had actually abstained from the vote. Um, but the reason that I thought so is because Marie always votes with the other three. So I just kind of, it just made sense, but I apologize to Marie and anybody else. I made a mistake. So that's it. That's all I can say about that. 
Thank you think it's funny to be 75 years old, Marie? <laughs> no, I think it's funny to pull please, back on please, it. Please, let's keep this in order here. Okay, uh, we have uh, Olivia next. Thanks. If I could uh, bring it back to the, you know, agenda item or the issue that was at hand, what was asked was about um, whether or not the election committee meetings could be um, agendized in public. And I think that we can see right here, just to bring it back to the, the actual issue, um, you know, because it is so contentious, and this has been since, you know, a while, right, since summer, I think that because, you know, things are growing to avoid things like this, where it then is a back and forth and going and, and perhaps going off the agendized items and talking. That's the very reason that we need things to be, you know, sadly, until we can come back to firmer footing, things to be transparent, things to be have the public have availability to it for whatever committee it is, for whatever topic it is, for whatever, and to have it agendized because then it's all above board. If there's nothing that, you know, we need to keep from people, or I understand because I've been on ad hoc committees, I know you want to be nimble and be able to discuss things, but that was a, you know, a different, I don't want to say a simpler time, but it was a simpler time. And I think that things have changed somewhat, unfortunately, or fortunately, as things are pushing forward for change. Change is not a bad thing. I think we need to keep up with it, though, and by doing it and making it transparent, and then a lot of this can go away of what was said or what wasn't said or those things. And so I would like to bring it back to the discussion of if it's possible to have those election committee meetings uh, agendized and publicized. Thank you so much. Sure. Uh, Joanne? Okay. I just want everybody to know that I do have a dog in that fight about the homeless. My son currently is living on the streets because he has made a choice between family and drugs. So... I do have a dog on that in that fight, and also um, I've gone to Department of Mental Health quite a few times, and I have gotten nada from them. So okay. that's that's my state. Yeah, I, I, I you know, we all sympathize with you seriously. I don't don't mean that ironically at all. Um, we're we're with you on that. Um, uh, Aida. All I'm hearing is everybody is jumping on everybody. What's the use of laughing at each other, making fun of each other? We don't get anywhere. And I don't understand why we all have this angry tone in ourselves. We are all working for one cause, and that's our community. So maybe we should all realize it's not about us. It really isn't. It's about people that put us in the office. And we should get our act together and see what we can do. What I learned from this issue with the uh, uh, hospital was I, I learned and I understood that people that live in there also have a right. It's not their fault that they have a home or a roof on their head. They also have a right. So maybe before we discuss anything that somehow pertains to people that live in that area, maybe we should invite them and talk to them before we even make the slightest decision for their way of lives. Thank I learned you. that. Thank, Excuse thank me. What was that? And Merle said, "Thank you." Um, That's all I have to say. Thank you. Um, sure. Oh, I just wanted to uh, reply to Olivia uh, and Marie and other. I think it was the two of them that, and maybe Daniel. Um, as far as um, the election committee and uh, you know having agendas and publicizing. I, I would consider that, you know, people are asking, I was certainly, I always listen, I try to listen, and um, I would consider that. I wouldn't do it now, because we're, you know, we're three-fourths into this, uh, but for the next election in two years, I may not even be the chair. Um, I definitely would think that's something to consider. That's all I wanted to say. Um, okay, um, and we'll have Bob Rustoff. Yes, um, just a comment on ad hoc committees. They are not required to have an agenda, nor are they required to post minutes. However, if, if, they're, they're, if they're six or below. Right. Yes, but they, that does not preclude them from doing so. Mm -hmm. They can do it. They don't have to. Right. Right. Um, just another side comment, mm -hmm. uh, an observation. There was a lot of head nodding during the board meeting two months ago, which included 
many people on the board, including Steve. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, Daniel? Yeah, I just wanted to say that this is not a, a new issue. I've been asking for, for this committee in particular to be agendized since I think I got on the board in October, November. So it, I, I just said this isn't a new issue that I've been asking for a while. Um, and clearly, um, you know, this is why. Okay. Thank you. Rian has his hand up. Rian! Yeah. What else? Yeah. from you and then Steve. Um, thanks, Tony. Um, I guess as a sort of a um, halfway point here, would it be possible, considering that, you know, the Brown Act and the law doesn't sort of require ad hocs to um, post agendas or essentially, you know, have an, have an open meeting in that regard, would it be possible, Char or S Steve, in order uh, to maybe post the minutes so that at least, since there is concern, at least that can be alleviated, alleviated on that front as far as vote records and things like that. Just an option there. So that in a sense, you don't, you know, if you don't have the ability to necessarily post or um, hold, a, hold an open meeting, at least you can have a record of what occurred at that meeting as a sort of a halfway point, like what happened with the senior center meetings. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, Okay, well, <laughs> people keep raising their hands. Uh, uh, okay, Steve and, uh, and, and or Joan, I guess is, is Steve. So, so yeah, I, I just wanted to uh, reiterate and agree with what Char had to say. It's actually something that I've been thinking about. I absolutely see no reason why, why the, um, the ad hoc election committee can't be open. Uh, there's nothing being hidden there. Um, all that committee does is it plans the elections. We discuss budget um, at, you know, how we're going to promote the election and advertise it. And um, there's, no, there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing being hidden there. I don't know why people think that there's stuff being hidden behind their back. I keep hearing transparency. I mean, we are as, we are as transparent as possible. The only committee that can't be opened is a vacancy committee where people are disclosing a lot of personal things about themselves. Uh, other than that, and the, you know, and, the, and then you guys get to see at the uh, um, at the board meeting when you're voting on filling a vacancy, you do get to see everything pretty much that we get to see, which is their application and what they have to say. They speak to you, so there's not there, there's you know I don't know there is no lack of transparency, people. I keep hearing this time and time again. It just doesn't exist. I don't know why you people are so, some, well, I take that back. I don't know why there's so much distrust by some board members of other board members. It, it, it's um, uh, one possibility is because, you know, the it is important. I mean, I'm a member of that committee too, the election committee, and it is important that like, sudden things happen and, and, uh, and we we do need that nimbleness. Uh, so it's possible then maybe the co-chairs would would consider um, you know, posting agendas, but not necessarily being seventy two hours because there's that's not required. Uh, Dan, so some sort of other way of doing it. Uh, Dan, can I speak one uh, one question? Yeah, I, I, I eat it first and then you. Yes. I have a question. If a board member decides they just want to come and participate, just be an uh, observant person to sit there and just listen to the election committee, would the election committee give them permission to do so? Oh, that raises a good question because then it does raise Brown Act problems, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I, thank you. That's what I, I wanted I to have. Uh, okay, thank it, you. Yeah, uh, okay, okay, uh, Tony. Uh, no, it doesn't raise Brown Act problems uh, under the new AB 992. Uh, other board members can attend these meetings, observe, so they would come in as attendees and not panelists. Right. And and uh, it it would be uh, legal uh, to to do so. Also, uh, the the elections committee. Let's uh, talk about transparency. Uh, I I I'm not sure if it's transparent or not. Uh, there, there is a question of how uh, candidates were chosen for what day. 
they were chosen and, and who, who made those choices. Uh, there's, uh, it wasn't alphabetical. It, 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 it looked to be somewhat random, but there were, were choices made, uh, that, that chose what candidates go on what day. And no, no one knows how that was done. And it should have been done in an elections committee, uh, uh, in a, in a public, uh, with, with the public, uh, and all the candidates, uh, uh, aware of how, how that was done. That's all. Okay, I, I'm going to have two more speakers, uh, Shar and Daniel, and then, oh, God. Sandy. Okay, um, <laughs> okay please. No, no, I'm not going to accept any more speakers after Sandy, okay? Okay. So, so, so that's, that's the end. Okay, you're going to raise your hands, and I'm not going to call on you, all right? So, so Shar. Okay, yeah, it, the election committee, first of all, Almost everything we do in the election committee eventually goes to the board to be uh, approved anyway. That's one thing. The other thing, as far as how the, uh, the 29th and the 30th forum candidates were picked, it was alphabetical. And I did screw up, but it only messed up two people. So everybody was alphabetical except for the two people that I did. I was looking at the city list and my own list. And I did get confused, but I had already done it and it was too late by the time I, I caught my error. But that only meant that two people got interchanged. So it, it was alphabetical. And, and I, I do take responsibility for the fact that I don't know my alphabet. <laughs> okay, there you go. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Uh, um, Sandy, you're the last. Oh, I was just going to say, I don't know. I, I looked at the list of candidates. I was one of the first people to register as a candidate, and I see that my name is listed last, and I don't next to the last, and I just don't understand that on the election list. Yeah, that, that's that's the city. Yeah, that's uh, the city. Yeah, and I don't understand. I I think it's vindictive on Semi Pox's uh, thing. So I'm I'm very unhappy about that. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Thank you, thank you, Sandy. Um, so that concludes the discussion. Except I want to say one more thing that I had neglected to mention. Uh, on, on social media, there was a discussion, uh, which was, uh, you know, I mean, in the spirit, it was allowed, uh, in, in which, uh, in the, in the um, context of, of political debate, of, of uh, advocacy, but it ran into a problem when people were talking about the merits of something that was coming before the board and could come before the board again. And so at that point, that discussion had to be shut down immediately because, because when you do that, when it's done, when people comment, board members comment on something that's before the board, it's really literally a violation of state law. And so, um, so, it had to be shut down at that point. And so, uh, so I, please, please be very careful about, uh, about your discussions um, on, um, on social media, right? So um, thank you everybody. What's, uh, what's, the, what's the date of the next, um, the board meeting? I mean, uh, operations meeting. Uh, April 15th. April 15th, okay, lucky day. Ooh, tax day. No, no, they no, extended it. Postponed. Oh, they really? Extended they postponed it. it to May 15th. May 17th. Oh, oh and, wow. And, and I want Marie to know it's two days before my 76th birthday. <laughs> well, and I am sharp. May I ask you? Again. Uh, it, it, it is, uh, well, let's bring out the trombones. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Dan and Shar, may I ask a quick question, please? Sure. Um, I, just, I was just going to ask. Uh, Semi is leaving also, right? I mean, she's oh, left yes. already. She's so already what about, left. Yeah, what about acknowledging what she has done for us on our meeting? Oh, <laughs> that would be yeah. great. That sounds like a slam dunk right there. Yeah, okay. I love that's that. great. I mean, I, mean yeah. nothing, I know you don't feel that way, <laughs> Cindy. But, uh, oh, but, no. but, uh, but I, I would like to do that. Uh, it's her last so, day. She's uh, already at she's the She's already left. left. She's already yeah. seen herself. Yeah, she's already gone. Uh, 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 Daniel, are you already commenting on on uh, semi? 
Well, yeah, I was just, uh, isn't that who you said was moderating the forum? Yeah. Yes. But she left, done? She's now, now She's now on the staff of uh, Council Member Bob Blumenfield mm -hmm. of Council District 3. She's, uh, she's now uh, Bob's uh, legislative director. Yeah, shouldn't we probably get somebody else from Dunn then, since she's a staffer at Bob Blumenfield's office? And she's still she's still a, a reputable person in the community, uh, and uh, who's who is outside of the neighborhood council board. And, and she's uh, always been very fair and yeah. knowledgeable. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and voice uh, my objection to that right now. That I would prefer somebody from Dunn. I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm the only one. All right, thank I you. I second that. No, and, uh, I second that in third and fourth it. I'll it. I agree. Okay, a uh, August, uh, it's so April 15th is our next meeting. April 7th, yeah, April 15th. Right, of the operations. And the, the next uh, the board meeting is April 1st. All right. As thank a, thank you. Thank you. State, state deadline be extended to, does anybody know? <laughs> Tax deadline? Uh, uh, yes. The, uh, no, yeah. the federal has. The federal has, but how about the state? I believe so because oh. it's a franchise tax board, and so it's so it's, it's subsidiary. But oh. okay. But it only applies to individuals. So if you're doing a you know nonprofit or anything like that, then you're still stuck with eight fifty. Property tax is not extended either. Yeah. No. So. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for your thank input. Thank you. I, I do love you all. I <laughs> really do. Mm -hmm. And 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 let's let's try to get through this. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good, good night. night. Good night, good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.